Well, now to an inside look at part of what University of Arizona uh, is the most active university in space exploration. Yeah, the university says its space program launched $560 million into Arizona's economy each year. Kagan 9 and Craig Smith got a chance to see an important way U of A helps astronomers around the world by building a key part of the world's most powerful telescopes. At this place, on University of Arizona, they can do something no one else can do. Build gigantic mirrors to help us look deep into space. In a complex tucked under Arizona Stadium, workers are examining glistening chunks of glass that arrived just a few days ago. They will reject any piece with a flaw. They need perfection for the giant Magellan telescope being built in the high desert of Chile. A lot has to happen before raw glass is refined into mirrors with the power to focus faint light into sharp images. University of Arizona invented a method that sets the glass chunks in a honeycomb framework and melts the glass in an oven that spins. So centrifugal force creates a curved surface to focus the light. U of A is the only place able to make mirrors as large as Magellan will use, about 27 and a half feet edge to edge. It takes a year and two months before the glass is ready to come out of the oven. It's then two or three years of polishing where we polish for 60 or 80 hours, measure the surface, figure out where we need to polish again, polish again. The patient, precise polishing creates a focusing curve so exact, variations are many times thinner than a human hair. The glass being prepped here will become the seventh mirror the mirror lab has made for the giant Magellan telescope. Buell Januzzi leads the U of A astronomy department. He says for many types of research, large telescopes on Earth are still stronger than space telescopes like the Hubble and Webb. If you want to study a planet orbiting a distant star, you need to be able to separate the light from the planet and the star to two separate images, and that requires the biggest telescopes we can build. For Januzzi, there's satisfaction in creating such a powerful tool to study the universe, but the bigger payoff is when light flows through the telescope and the mirrors, and the scientists focus it into knowledge. It's very exciting when you actually start seeing the science um, coming out. The science is done by the combination of a wonderful telescope, an instrument that enables an important or unique measurement to be made, and a human with an idea that they wanted to test. And when that all comes together, it's very inspiring, and we learn new things. At the University of Arizona, Craig Smith, KGON 9.